In this lesson, we're going to go over the Easy Wizard mode and the VHS to DVD 4.0 Deluxe program. Uh, the Easy Wizard mode assists you with the conversion of your videotapes to DVD or Blu-ray discs. From disc selection and cable connections to recording and burning, the wizard walks you through the entire process. The steps are kept simple to minimize confusion, however, if any problems are encountered, the wizard will alert you. To open the Easy Wizard mode, select Easy Wizard mode from the main menu screen. Okay, this is the uh, registration page, but as you can see, it's pretty self-evident. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and skip this process. Okay, in step two, this is where you select your disc type. Okay, DVD, single layer or dual layer or Blu-ray. And um, keep in mind, these are the types of discs the wizard can record your video onto. The most common type used is DVD. However, Blu-ray provides higher quality picture when played in a Blu-ray player. The Blu-ray option also requires a video signal from an HDV or DV high definition video camcorder. Okay, for testing purposes today, we're going to go ahead and just select DVD. And you're going to want to hit the next arrow after you've selected the type of media you want to record to. Okay, this is just going to be uh, where your DVD writer is listed. The program will uh, by default read which, D which writer you're using and fill it in for you. However, if you want to select a different one, uh, you can by hitting the drop down menu. Okay, so now we're just going to hit the next arrow. Okay, in step, step two, you're going to insert either a blank DVD or Blu-ray disc into your disc drive and click the arrow pointing to the right to proceed. Okay, uh, also note, make sure your disc drive is capable of writing to a DVD or Blu-ray disc. Most DVD-ROM drives are able to play DVDs but are unable to write to them. DVD RW drives, on the other hand, are capable of both reading and writing DVD discs. Okay, now we're going to just hit the next arrow. Okay, in step three, uh, this is where you select your video playback device. Uh, for example, you know, VCR, camcorder, or DVD player. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select VCR. And uh, once you've selected the device you're recording from, you'll go ahead and hit the next arrow. Okay, and step three of one, uh, select your, this is where you select your video connector type, uh, RCA composite or S video, and click the arrow pointing to the right to proceed. Okay, S video cables transmit a higher quality video signal than um, regular RCA composite cables, but contrary to popular belief, they do not carry uh, an audio signal. Okay, you hit the next button. Okay, in step three of two, this is where you connect your devices with appropriate cables as shown below, and click the arrow pointing to the right to proceed. If you notice, since we, we since we selected the RCA cables, it'll show you how to connect RCA cables. If you go back and you select S video and click next, notice now that it is an S video connection uh, tutorial. Okay, so uh, we're going to be using RCA cables, so I'm going to select RCA, click next. Okay, and then we'll hit the next arrow. Okay, and step four, this is where you set your record settings by adjusting the recording time slider to match the length of your video. Okay, so it's on three hours right now, but if you were, say, for example, recording for two hours, one, uh, one and a half hours, one hour, so on and so forth. Okay, uh, the temp folder uh, is used by the wizard to temporarily store your video as it records it. Once recording is complete, the wizard will write the video to your blank disk and automatically empty or delete the contents from the temp, from the temp folder. Okay, uh, you can change the temp folder location by clicking the folder button um, <coughs> uh, and selecting a new folder. Uh, however, changing your temp folder is not recommended unless the required hard drive space exceeds the available hard drive space. Okay, so here you can select a different folder, uh, but we're going to go ahead and just cancel it. We're going to use the output folder, which is the VHS to DVD folder right there. Okay, now uh, the widescreen option uh, listed right here uh, will change the look of your recording to resemble a letterbox format with black bars placed above and below the video. Okay, so if you want that to show up kind of similar to how you see it in uh, movie theaters and stuff like that, go ahead and hit the, uh, have the widescreen checked. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. The lower recording resolution right here option should be enabled if you experience choppy video or audio. This option will reduce the amount of pixels recorded, providing better handling of the video by your computer. Okay, when your recording <coughs> when your record settings are complete, uh, you'll want to click the next arrow to continue. This is where you will actually do your recording, and what you'll need to do first is push play. 
push play on your VCR and you'll notice that it, it does start playing right away um, but keep in mind that it hasn't started recording just yet uh, if you notice that the record button is still available for you this is just a preview mode to start recording you'll go ahead and hit the record button notice that after you hit the record button the stop button uh, the record bur button turns into a stop button that means that you are recording Okay, and also notice underneath the preview window, uh, the recording is now the recording time is now counting down to the one hour and one minute that I had set earlier. Okay, so we're going to let it record for a few few minutes, um, and just keep in mind after it records the the hour and one minute or whatever time you set, uh, then it's going to go into the burn process. So this the one hour and one minute doesn't represent the total process of recording and burning, just the record process. Let's say, for example, you only want to record for 10 minutes, uh, but you set an hour. Uh, what you can do is you can hit stop on the recording, and if you notice, another window comes up and it says, do you want to stop recording? Uh, you know, if you want to stop recording, you click yes, and another window will come up and it'll ask you, do you want to start burning? Now, you want to make sure to click yes if you want to continue burning, um, or else you'll lose all the material that you had been recording earlier. So we're just going to hit yes and notice that it instead is creating DVD structure so it is starting the burn process okay uh, the writing uh, creating DVD structure uh, is just you know part of the burn process okay notice now that it switches to burning and the disc will now go into the burn phase so now second stage of the burning which uh, actually is writing the material to the uh, DVD uh, this process varies uh, depending on the, you know the, how fast your computer is what type of burner you have um, so this process might vary from computer to computer so there's no real set time and how long it will take to burn uh, usually for about an hour and a half movie it should take about you know 15 to 20 minutes to burn a DVD And now you're writing lead out, and this would be the last uh, portion of the burn process, and it's just about finished. Okay, if you notice now, uh, once the burning has completed, you'll see a window pop up that says burning complete. Just click OK, and now it'll take you back to the main screen. And that concludes our lesson of the Easy Wizard mode and the VHS to DVD 4.0 Deluxe program. Thank you.